Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss 10 ways men damage their reputation and how you can avoid it. These days, your reputation can trash more easily than ever before thanks to the internet. One Instagram picture, one Facebook comment, one tweet, one poor moment of judgment or one accusation is all it takes to leave a lasting mark in a place where nothing ever disappears. A single instance of bad behavior, even if you think it's not a big deal, may haunt you forever and it's simply best to be on your guard and second guess things whether they're a good idea and in my opinion it's always good to ask the question if what I'm doing right now would be published in the news or in a newspaper, could I go out there with my head up high and proud and be okay with them talking about me and what I did. You rely on your reputation to gain trust, get employment, get a promotion and develop relationships. Just think of Tiger Woods. He thought he'd never get caught cheating and because of that he lost his marriage, he lost lots of sponsors and overall his reputation. In this day and age, you have to assume that you're being Googled by hiring managers, potential dates, competitors, and customers. So it's always best to think twice about your actions. So what are the two key reputation losing traps? One, it's bad behavior itself. It's everything like racism, sexism, fighting, dishonesty, or anything else that could reflect poorly on your character. Two, aside from the bad behavior itself, it's the belief that you're not being recorded or that you won't ever be caught. When everyone has a cell phone, it's simply foolish to assume that nobody will record, hear, listen, or see what you said or did. Sometimes you may have the best intentions, but if you don't consider how something may sound or appear, you can ruin your reputation. Some may also think that their bad behavior will simply be tolerated or not be called out, but at the end of the day, no one is immune to it and you can lose your reputation in a snap. So what are the 10 ways to lose one's reputation? First of all, it's unprofessional behavior at the office. If you think about it, it's one of the worst places to lose one's reputation because most of the time it's directly tied to your livelihood. If you're rude or difficult to work with, maybe you're gonna be laid off and oftentimes employers talk to each other so it may be more difficult for you to find new employment. People who harass others, especially sexually, may even end up in jail. Another great way to damage your reputation is to always be right and to always have the last word. You also want to avoid gossiping because it always reflects negatively on you. If you work in a white collar environment, dressing too casually can be a problem. On the flip side, Dressing too formally or outdressing your boss can be an issue too, especially if your boss has issues with his self-confidence. Because of that, it always pays to respect the dress code at work. But you also don't want to start any arguments or have private conversations very loudly so everybody can listen in. Because at the end of the day, it reflects poorly on you. The second way to damage your reputation is to engage in substance abuse. You might think others won't notice. At the end of the day, they will it will be talked about and it can be extremely difficult to not just find employment but also to get driver's licenses and it has a triggering effect that stays on your record for life. The third and probably one of the most easiest ways to damage your reputation is the misuse of social media. Obviously, you can post too much and you know what happens with people who annoy you, you just unfollow them and in the back of your mind you think of them less highly. Of course, some people post things that are too personal, but nobody wants to know if you just had an abscess on your bum. Also, do you know those people that are full of conspiracy theories and full of negativity and they write about how much they hate their job and their life and everything? It's simply an overshare and people don't want to read about it, especially not future employers or your date. Sometimes it's very tempting to leave a comment on a photo and even if it seems very obvious, it's sometimes better to simply not post. At the end of the day, what is there to gain? For example, there was a picture of a woman who was pushing a stroller on a Segway and there was a flood of bad comments. Turned out her husband had bought it for her because she couldn't actually walk. Now, obviously, it was a nice gesture 
and this mother tried to do the best she could, yet she got a shitstorm of comments that was wholly unjustified. Now, if people see that you participate in that, it reflects very negatively on you. Even if you use Snapchat or you set all your privacy settings to lockdown, people can still take screenshots of what you posted and share it with the world without you being able to control it in any way, shape or form. If you read the terms of the social platforms, once you post something, there is no legal way to retract it, even if you delete it. The fourth way to damage your reputation is to have a strong ego. That includes blaming others for your faults, not taking responsibility and simply walking around as you're the king. If you're unable to have your opinions and beliefs challenged, and if you're boasting about your strip club knowledge, you have a serious ego problem. Likewise, if you wanna abuse your position in society and ask people, don't you know who I am? That shows that you have an issue with your ego. For example, there was a female TV host who got her car towed and she went to the impound lot and argued with the poor lady there and just insulted her about her teeth, her education, how dumb she was, how ugly, and she didn't think it was on camera, but she tried to tell her that she's so much better and used her position to make the other person down. Well, guess what? She lost her job and everyone can still see how nasty she was in that one situation. But don't get me wrong, we all have a bad day, but again, always think twice because in this day and age, there's no second chance for things that have gone viral. The fifth way to ruin your reputation is to being overly emotional. If you can't control your feelings, you'll quickly gain a reputation for having a short fuse and people will keep you at arm's length and they won't trust you with important tasks because they know they can't rely on you. The sixth good way to damage your reputation is by being hypocritical. For example, the owner of mockshots.com wouldn't have his own mockshot published on there. Now, that's pretty hypocritical, isn't it? When you engage in hypocrisy and you set different standards for others than you do for yourself, you lose all credibility. The seventh way to damage your reputation is plain old lying. I know, sometimes you're in a bad mood, someone asks you how you are, and you just say everything is fine. That's the kind of lie that's acceptable in society. On the other hand, if you constantly lie to come up with excuses or why you didn't get the project done, your boss will see through it and fire you for it. The eighth way to sooner or later lose your reputation is to not understand when to fight a fight and when to simply walk away. Just think about it. If you engage in a fight every time you have the opportunity to, chances are you will eventually end up losing, someone will record it and it will go on the internet and you'll have a bad reputation forever. Keeping calm, especially if you're stressed out, requires restraint, but it's a quality that's highly sought after by employers and people in general. Who do you wanna sit next to on a plane that is going down? A stressed out person who is rude, loud and aggressive, or a considerate person that is thoughtful and helping others. The ninth way to lose your reputation is to be unreliable. If you tell people you'll call them and you don't follow up, or if you make appointments and you don't show up, not only do you give them the feeling that you don't care, but you're so unreliable that people don't wanna engage with you or your business ideas or anything else that you touch because they simply can only see it going downhill. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio had a reputation for tardiness and it also shows that you think your time is more important than other people's time and that you're above things and it's never a good signal to send to others even if you're in a position of power because sooner or later it will hurt you. Last but not least, a sure way to damage your reputation is to engage in sexual harassment, no matter whether it's at the workplace or outside. Sexual harassment is all over the news and it seems there's a tipping point right now where a lot of powerful men find themselves confronted with their past actions. To some, it can constitute a gray area to define what is sexual harassment and what is maybe just a joke, but if you look at surveys and studies, 64% of all people think that there is sexual harassment at the workplace and that it's a big problem. If you think about it, sexual harassment is about one thing, power. And most positions of power in the world today are still held by men. You as a man are responsible not to engage in sexual harassment. It's not the responsibility 
of another man or another woman to tell you to stop or to report you or to tell that they are uncomfortable with what you're doing right now. Honestly, it's also unacceptable to complain that it's too difficult to understand what is an acceptable joke and what is inappropriate sexual harassment. The rules are clear and if you're not sure about them, I suggest you sit down, do a Google search and learn about them. That being said, there are a lot of ways to damage your reputation. Another one would be to not display proper dining etiquette and to learn more about it, please check out this video here. Or for example, if you're not dressed appropriately for your job interview, it'll cost you a job, even though you're the most qualified candidate. And if you wanna learn more about that, check out this video here. If you enjoyed this video, sign up to our channel, subscribe to it, hit that little bell, so videos like this come right to your inbox. In today's video, I'm wearing a vintage sport coat, which is made out of tweed in a herringbone pattern and the colors dark red, burgundy, and green. I combined it with a light blue and white checked shirt, as well as a olive green knit tie from Fort Belvedere, which you can find in our shop here. The pocket square is likewise green, purple and orange, and it ties together the jacket, the tie, and the entire ensemble. My pants are dark blue corduroys, and I wear them with contrasting brown suede corduroy boots. My socks are shadow striped in navy and blue, and so they pick up the blue color in the shirt, as well as the pants, and everything looks harmonious. You can also find them in the shop here. <laughs> Thank you.